Well, it's Sunday, November the 26th, Buck Season Eve here in Pennsylvania. I said it'd be here faster than you can blink an eye. And here we go. We're heading to the camp. This looks like a good place for a tree stand. Well, I saved you guys all the pain of watching me drive up the highway, so I figured I'd just start once I got to camp. But I made it. Gonna go turn the electric on, get the slides put out, get the furnace turned on, and I'll see you inside the camp. Well, I almost forgot to do my big opening and say, what's up YouTube, it's me Big Bo, and it's fucking deer season. I made it up to camp, we just got the furnace turned on, it's still pretty damn cold in here right now, but uh, it just seems to be running, everything's good, the camp was clean. Drug in all the groceries, got them and put away in a fridge, just hung up with Tiger, and uh, his brother made the trip up, I don't know who all he brought with him. But they're going to end up stopping up and have a couple cold beers. And uh, I just put on a pot of meatballs in the crock pot. And uh, that's what we're just going to eat that for dinner tonight. But uh, Eddie's supposed to be making the trip. So hopefully we got some guys in the woods. We're going to get some deer moving. And this is going to be a good couple, first couple days, I'm hoping. My fingers are crossed. But uh, at the end of my last video, I forgot to say congratulations to all the successful bear hunters out there. So I want to throw that in there right off the top here. So, uh, we'll see you guys when Tiger and them get here. Ain't officially deer season till you hang caps on. Well, I just wanted to take one quick minute to show you what I was going to be using on this trip. This is my 30-06 Marlin. It has a 3x9 Nikon scope on it. I won it about five or six years ago in a gun raffle. And I've been taking it out on the first day of deer season ever since. Uh, it's a real tack driver. It likes to shoot Remington ammunition. That's what I shoot out of it, 165 grain bullet. And uh, hopefully with any kind of luck, we'll put a buck in crosshairs in the morning. Just wanted to show you the size of this rub. And look where it is. What did you have? A mouse eating half your glove there? Probably. <laughs> How many bucks have we seen since we stepped out of here? Three? No, fuck no. There well, was four. Huge, four. And then there are two with the other one. Yeah, about at least four. And then five. Not. Four or five. Holy fuck. Fucking bucks all over. They're all on Vince's property. Well, he had a kid. They had. He always tells me they're bedding up here, right where their gate is. He said they always see bucks right there. Because most of them come. Yeah, pretty straight across. In that direction. But that ain't saying they won't go. Well, they can go anywhere from this point. Oh, yeah. Right down the light tree stand and back down. down a fucking creek. Oh, yeah, there's some fucking bruisers, man. Old Ben's going to be year. fucking disappointed this year. He ain't going over there hunting that goddamn fucking other guy's fucking property just because he thinks he's going to kill a big buck over there. He needs to be up here where he used to hunt at with the fucking brothers and boys. Yep, tried to get him. This is going to be our year, dude. I'm telling you. Gonna get some fucking I'm telling boxes. you. Yeah, I they're damn well if you call them. I know I ain't got them on my goddamn phone. I got his number. I'm number one. I'll tell you, that Demas of Stan wouldn't be a bad fucking stand hit tomorrow. Yeah, don't spread that around. Don't spread that <laughs> around. Maybe it wouldn't be. Don't spread that around. That would be a fucking top notch fucking stand. That's unreal, isn't it? That unreal old guy. Some big fucking bucks. That's fucking nuts, dude. We're right here. Yep. They're fucking standing here. I'm telling you, these fucking... What the fuck was that? My brother's gate. Oh, I thought it was something. Wind thing. I'm telling you, somebody's gonna get a fucking monster buck tomorrow. I mean a monster.
Ed, you wouldn't believe me if we told you. Why? We've had four bucks come straight through here. And one is this high off the Dude, that the fucking bucks are you, huh? Yeah. We spent $100, $203 on license. Well, you, you what are we paying? Sitting together or you I'll just put whatever we want to put in. I don't, I don't know yet. We're going to go put that roof up on there. 20 in peace. What are you, what are you doing? I wouldn't put the roof. I ain't going to ring. Yeah, you, yeah, I wouldn't even go there. I'm in. You in? There's your 20. You got to get some in. 20. 20, Mom. Uh, I don't know. 20, Mom. Now I got to go back to the back. You're all over now. We've got 25 from last year. There you go. And we're going to go 20 dollars. Well, let's do 20. Let's make it worthwhile. Somebody's going to kill something. It's not. It's got a bunch left over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Make it worth it. Yeah, make it. See, get something. Fucking tired. I mean, 20 bucks a piece in that purple goose tonight. <laughs> that, that, that almost gets you at least a down payment on a fucking mount job. Next year, if somebody tries to get in, it's going to cost them 25 right? Or 45 uh, No, it'll be 25 to, to catch up. Yes. And then whatever it is. Uh, how, how much was it last year? It was 5 last It was 5 for last year. Five, 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 five. Yeah. What's up, Chuck? Is it coming? No, you got to work. You got a job. What do you mean, fuck, you got to work? You just got a new job. When you apply for the new job, you tell them I'm taking this week to fuck off. He just started <laughs> the other day. You still had to apply for the job. You went in for an interview. You say, I ain't able to work this week. I can't start till next week. Yeah, I don't know. Jesus he just Christ. Told me yesterday. He goes, I'll get to work. I was supposed to work too. I took off. Works for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we came. You came, or we must have just left. You came. It'll be 110. That's it. 110. I got, I got 20. Oh. 130. I thought there was like 100 and some left over from a couple years back. Oh, no. No, you ain't I didn't take it. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You took it. You just didn't know. You give the tiger, right? You didn't know. I'm not Italian, but boy, does this look good. Well, good morning, YouTube. It's 4 o'clock a.m. and it's the first day of buck season, so I'm going to get up here and get some breakfast on the stove, and uh, Tina and Eddie are still sleeping. I just want to keep it short and sweet, but I want to wish everybody good luck today. I hope you get the buck of a lifetime, but the most important thing is be safe out there, getting in the woods in the dark, uh, get back home or get back to your camp at the end of the night. That's the most important thing, but I want to wish everybody luck, and uh, I'll see you guys out in the stands. Time to get rolling. Stand. It's 
pitch black dark, and I'll see you at daylight. 2017 buck season starts right now. All right, it's an 8 a.m. check-in. About uh, 7.15, I heard a shot sound like it came over from Vince's property, and uh, Eddie texted me, and he saw a doe at first light. And now I just got another text from a good friend of mine that's hunting over in Clintonville. I think he got a buck down. He sent me a picture, but it must have been from still in his stand. You couldn't even see its head. So I'll show you that when I get a better picture of it. But uh, for me, I haven't seen much action yet, but it'll happen. Well, it's going on about 10 o'clock. I uh, just checked in with Eddie. He hasn't seen anything yet besides that first doe they saw right at daylight. I texted Vince. He said nobody on his property shot as far as he knows. So, but that shot did sound pretty close. But uh, no deer seen for me as of yet. Hopefully one moves along. I've always seen deer after 10 o'clock in the morning down here. So hopefully history repeats itself and that's what happens again. Well, it's going on about noon. I just had two trespassers come through on four wheelers. By the time they seen me and I stood up in the stand, they took off running. You know, they hauled the mail the hell out of here. <laughs> but uh, I guess everybody has to deal with trespassers at some time or another. I mean, that's just just what frickin' happens. Unfortunately, it kind of sucks because it's it's the first day of deer season. Why would you want to be pushing deer on quads? That's beyond me. But uh, still haven't seen any deer. I guess I kind of know why now. Because they've been riding around my property on quads and I had no idea they were even there. But uh, I think they got the picture. They got the hell out of here. So hopefully we can salvage the afternoon. But we'll be here till dark. So we'll see what happens. Well, it's going on about 2 o'clock. And I just checked in with Eddie. He saw that doe right at daylight. And then he ended up seeing a small buck and a doe. And then a little while ago, he just saw another doe, so at least he's seen some deer. I, I haven't seen anything other than those two four-wheelers. And, you know, to me, I'm still disgusted over that, but I look at it this way. When life gets you down, you reach for a jalapeno and bologna and Swiss sandwich. <laughs> well, we're getting into about the final hour. It's a little after 4 o'clock. Like I said, I haven't seen shit, but... Uh, we're going to stay till pitch black dark and see what we see. If I don't see nothing, I'll see you back at the camp. And it feel good to get back to the camp. Well, I made it back into camp and I just said goodbye to everybody because um, Eddie has to work tomorrow, so him and Tina's heading for home. Billy ended up, unfortunately, getting a phone call from his girlfriend's, some a, a family member passed away. So he was pretty upset. He he was heading for home, and of course Tiger lives up here, so he'll be hunting tomorrow. But uh, as for me, as you can see, I seen absolutely nothing. I never even saw a damn tail, and I was out there from dark to dark, like I always am, and uh, never saw a tail. Billy said he never saw a deer. Tiger said he saw four does at four o'clock, and Eddie saw some a few deer during the course of the morning hours. Uh, me, Tiger, and Billy also had, you know, they had run-ins with the guys on the quads also. But that's about it. A uh, good friend of mine named John, he, he was hunting over in Clintonville. He ended up getting a pretty decent buck. I'll show you a picture of it. I know they took three different buck off the neighboring lease here. Uh, I can show you a couple pictures of two of the box anyway. Congratulations to all those guys. I mean, it was some good looking deer. I wish I'd have had better luck today, but I didn't. But like I said, I just seen everybody off. So when I get out of these hunting clothes and I think I'm just going to heat up some of the leftover meatballs because they were really good. I think that's what I'm going to have for dinner and just call the wife. I'll probably just call it an evening. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, I know what you're thinking. This meal could use a vegetable. I got it covered. Well, good morning, YouTube. It's November the 28th. It's the second day. 
and uh, hopefully today is a hell of a lot better than yesterday. But I think uh, personally, you know, I'm not making excuses, but I really do believe those four wheelers screwed it up. I've, I've never seen a first day of deer season so horrible in my life. But uh, hopefully it just gets better. And I got some sausage cooking right now on the stove. And I'm going to head out to the stand. My plan is to go to my stand that I was in yesterday. I'm going to hunt that in the morning. If I don't see any deer, uh, I'm going to make a move. I'm going to go hunt Demas' stand. Normally, I really don't hunt my deer stand until deer season. Uh, but this year, you know, I put some time in there in archery. I bear hunted that stand. And, you know, it could have been my mistake, you know. Maybe maybe the deer know I'm there and they're just not coming into there now, you know, they're on to me. So maybe I'll make a move over to Demas' stand. But uh, I left my seat and everything in there last night in the dark. So I figure I'll hunt that this morning and then we'll see how it plays out. Hopefully I don't even have to go to Demas' stand, but I'll see you out in the woods. It's Tuesday morning and it's legal shooting time. Well, I wanted to take a minute to check in. It's going on 10 o'clock. I have not seen a single deer all morning. There's only been one shot since daybreak, and it sounded like it was in Timbuktu. I checked in with Vince. He's not seen a tail all morning, but uh, I kind of figured it was going to be slow because of these warm temperatures today, but I thought we'd see something right after daybreak, but we've had no luck. So I think it's time for me to move on. I'm going to stick it out till noon. And I'm going to make the move. I'm going to go over to Demas' stand. I'm going to hunt there until dark. So unless something happens, I'll see you over at Demas' stand. Well, it's 3.30, and the wind's kind of picking up. But uh, these hot temperatures, I wasn't expecting much to move today. But uh, I, I stuck it out. I never went back to camp. I stayed in stand. And uh, I'm going to sit here until pitch black dark. So either you're going to see a deer, or you're going to see me back at camp. Come in in the dark, and you get down in the dark. Well, it's about quarter to six. I just got back here about five minutes ago and peeled off my layers. Uh, I want to get through this real quick, but uh, man, unbelievable. Never seen a deer from dark to dark two days in a row. Blows my mind. How do you see, how do you see four buck in five minutes standing around drinking beer on a Sunday, and then you go hunt and you don't see a single tail? Unbelievable. But it's early in the season. Uh, I'm back at camp now. That's safe. That's pretty much the main thing. And uh, we're going to hunt tomorrow. But I have to go home at some point tomorrow. So my plan is tonight I want to get the camp all cleaned up. And then uh, I'll head for home tomorrow. And then, of course, you know, we'll hunt a little bit around the house. And I'm planning on coming back up. What day I'm coming, I have no idea right at this second. But uh, I've definitely come back up. But Vince and them guys, they told me they didn't see a tail. I mean, they got a, quite a few guys over there, and they didn't see a tail. So, I mean, not even any shooting. There was no shooting. I heard one faint shot right after daylight this morning, and that was it for the longest time. And I think I did hear one other shot that sounded like it could have came from the game lands which is approximately, you know, off our property all the way on the other side of Route 8. So, I mean, it, it wasn't even really close, but unbelievable. So, all I can say is tonight I'm going to clean the camp, cook a little bit of dinner, and, uh, you know, make my phone calls, call my wife, call old Demas, let them know what was going on. But that's pretty much going to be it for tonight, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, YouTube. It's November the 29th. It's the third day of Pennsylvania buck season. Uh, I had to throw a hat on this morning to do this because my hair looked a little crazy this morning. But uh, it's 5 a.m. Demas has already called. I'm going to give him a call back here. And I want to apologize if it seemed like I was venting last night. But uh, that's reality, man. Two days in the, in the stand and I haven't seen a single deer yet. But... Uh, I'm going to go out and hit a different stand today. I'm going to go up here on this other power line where they kind of logged it all out. It's a pretty big open woods. Uh, I don't know if, if, if the deer are bedding up here on the other end of the camp. You know, maybe, maybe they're up there hiding and I'll catch one sneaking into that goldenrod or something to bed up. But 
that's what I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to get some breakfast going here and put some breakfast on the table and then I'll head to the stand and I'll see you in the woods. And breakfast is served. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, and I just wanted to check in real quick. Uh, my buddy texted me right after daylight. He said he got a shot as a nice uh, buck over in Ohio. And now he says he got it, and he sent me the picture, so I'll show that to you now. As of right now, I haven't seen anything. I've seen a couple squirrels. That's been about it. But uh, I'm hunting a different kind of woods. I don't normally hunt this style of woods. Um, I'm running the clear cuts and thickets, setting up on the edges. But this is kind of a wide open woods. But it uh, gives me the opportunity to break out the Nikons because uh, my good buddy Demas, uh, he bought them for me as a gift and I thought that was pretty cool. I always wanted to get a good set of binoculars so I've been doing some glass. And, but so far I haven't seen anything. But uh, hopefully our luck changes and we start seeing some deer. Well, it's daylight and you're probably wondering what the hell is Mo doing out of the woods. Well, I could only hunt a half a day. I have to get back home. I got to take care of a few things tonight. But I may try to make it back in the woods here later on this afternoon around the house. So we're gonna. the plan is maybe to hunt around home tomorrow and possibly Friday or drive back up here Friday. And then bring in the first day of doe here on Saturday. But... We're going to keep on hunting. We'll be hunting every day and the video continues. Well, good morning, YouTube. It's Thursday, November the 30th. Uh, as you can see, I'm back at home. I didn't get the opportunity to hunt yesterday afternoon. I really wanted to, but the wife accidentally knocked over my crossbow. And when I shot it, it was knocked out of whack pretty bad. So I ended up taking me quite a few shots but I got it back tuned in everything's fine everything's good you know, it's probably good to take some practice shots anyway because I haven't shot it since the end of archery so uh, with that being said I pulled the trail cam card out of trail cam and checked that out I only had one deer since Sunday in front of that trail cam during daylight hours and uh, I couldn't even make out whether it was a buck or a doe but doesn't always mean the deer run in front of a trail cam either so they could be running anywhere and sometimes when they're pushed they run so fast you don't even get get a picture of them so i'm not too concerned about it i know there's deer back there i was just kind of really hoping to see a, a legal buck because i haven't seen any legal bucks back there this year at all and uh, the best we can do is go out there and we'll see what happens and it's supposed to rain this afternoon so I don't know whether I'll stay in the blind all day or, or what I'm going to do because I'm kind of planning on going back up to the wasp nest because there's bucks up there and there's big damn bucks up there and they didn't get them all, you know, so if, if, if I come up empty handed today, I got to drive up tomorrow whether I leave at 4 o'clock in the morning to get there, I'm going, that's my plan and uh, we'll just see what today brings and then we'll go from there, I'll see you out in the blind. What's going on? nine o'clock I wanted to do a quick check-in I've been out here since before daylight and so far I've seen nothing but I did have an Osage orange fall off the tree hit my blind and scared the living shit out of me <laughs> but uh, as of right now I haven't seen anything I haven't heard one single shot yet which blows my mind I don't I don't know maybe people give up and just don't even care about hunting other than going out on Saturday but Either that or they're just not seeing anything like me, so I will keep you posted. These damn Osage oranges are everywhere. Well, it's Friday, December the 1st. It's warm out, sunglasses are on, and the sun is shining. I'm heading up to camp, should be there no later than 1 o'clock, and I'll be heading to the woods till dark, so fingers crossed, we see some deer. We're going to hunt tomorrow too, uh, for doe, 
and who knows we'll see what happens there hopefully we at least get an antlerless deer demas is making a trip also so he's coming up doe hunting and of course tiger i believe got the day off so he's going to be hunting tomorrow too so we'll see you up at the camp well we made the trip up we made it safe everything's good furnace is running electrics on we're not going to waste any time we're going to get dressed and we're going to head to the stand i'll see you in the woods well i decided to come back to demas's stand instead of the open wood stand because he's supposed to get into camp about 3.30 and with him slamming the doors and whatnot, I'll be able to hear him because it's not that far from camp. So I decided to come back to his stand and sit until dark. So when he gets here and gets settled, he said he's going to take a quick walk. He's going to make a big loop and uh, maybe he might bounce me out something, but I'm here till pitch black dark. So hopefully fingers crossed and we see a buck tonight. I'm just getting down out of the stand. I'm going to walk back to camp and meet up with Demas. He made the trip up. So I did see one deer tonight, so at least we knocked the stink off. <laughs> so he ran down the power line. I don't know what it was, whether it was a buck or a doe, but it didn't come over here where I was at. So I'll see you back at camp. It's a beautiful moon tonight. Weekended Bernies. Well, good morning, YouTube. It's Saturday, the first day of doe season, so. I'm not turning the camera on because the temperatures are really extremely cold this morning and uh, it'll kill my battery so whenever it warms up a little bit I'll crank her on but uh, hopefully we see a doe or a buck preferably a buck but I'll see you out in the woods just checking in it's about eight o'clock I've had a couple shots it sounded pretty close I haven't seen any deer yet but uh, at least we're hearing some shooting today so hopefully we get something moving and we get an opportunity to get a shot ourselves. What's going on about 9.30? Uh, we had a few shots, actually one shot sounded like it was a Demas, but he checked in with me and said it wasn't him. We had two close shots down from over the hill. I believe could possibly have been Tiger. So if I find something out, I'll let you know, but as of right now, I have not seen a single deer, but we do have some shooting around, so hopefully one works her way my way. Well, it's going on about 11 o'clock. I just wanted to check in. Uh, I seen a deer about a half an hour ago. It was far out as I could see it, but it was running. So maybe somebody might have pushed it out. There's a distant shot there. But uh, I ended up wanting to check in because I got a little bit of a surprise. My daughter's boyfriend, who just started hunting recently, bought himself his own gun this year. He bought a 30-30 caliber, and he got his first deer with it. So I'm real happy for him. Congratulations on your deer, Greg. I want to show you guys some pictures of it. Congratulations again, Greg. You'll be hooked for the rest of your life. But uh, with that being said, today's my 17th year wedding anniversary. So I can only hunt a half a day, but I still got a couple hours before I have to climb down out of this tree. And uh, hopefully with some luck, we get a deer close enough to where I can get a shot too. So I'm going to shut this camera off and get back to my hunting. Well, I made it back to camp. I just got everything piled up and put it in the truck. And I'll be heading for home. But uh, as far as this week went, didn't seem to have any luck. Really didn't even see any deer these last couple days. But uh, we still got another whole week. You know, 
I've talked to a lot of people. They sound pretty discouraged, but there's no way in hell I'll throw the towel in until the final minute. So we're going to hunt all next week, so that'll be a part two to this video. And uh, I'm going to go check with Demas as far as I know. He didn't see anything. I haven't heard from Tiger. Like I said, I have to take off before dark, so unfortunately I'm not going to get a chance to talk to him. So I'll update that on our next video, part two. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so. Feel free to comment. Let me know how your season's going so far. And uh, we'll see you at the end of part two. Thanks for watching.